Pant, pant, pant. Stop panting. Door. All right. All right. Time to get off of this boat. Yeah, I'm going to open it now. Everybody ready? <laughs> Jeez. Kodak moment. Oh, except Kodak doesn't exist anymore. Oh, well. Well, I mean, they still have the disposable cameras, I think, don't they? But still. You look like a big heavy door. And you actually are a big heavy door. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you're my freedom. Or sitting in between it. Ha 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 ha! Screw you, door! We're gonna open you! Alright. Huh? What? Santa? Oh, that's down there. <laughs> Duh. That's, that's nine years ago. Thanks to the huge detective dude! <laughs> All right. Got out just in time. Mm. It's over. Was it really? Oh. Yes, it's not the end. It's only the beginning, at least for her. The prologue. No kidding. To what would happen nine years in the future. When she would have to set up the nunnery game in order to save her own life. Speaking of the next nonary game, air. But the sun sure is bright. Yeah, it is daytime now. Huh? Wait. What? That's what I said. It can't be. But it can. Yeah, remember building Q in the middle of the Nevada desert? <laughs> Honestly, I had already figured it out by this time. I didn't find this at all surprising. Yep, the other building that looks identical to the gigantic. Yep, that's a desert and mountains and everything. Hello, sun! Oh, wow. Whoa! I actually have one of those. <laughs> it's just a regular watch, but it's still kind of cool. Huh? An electronic chip, like an ATM card. That's it? What? So, we were never in danger to begin with. Only the ninth man, it seems. Well, what do you know? Hmm? And that's the end. Or, not really. There's actually some more after this. 
But, uh, yeah, that's the credits, and that's everything that's, uh, well, we're not going into, you know, there's no more endings, that's everything there is and all that, so. I'm glad I got to all this, uh, really. I mean, despite the fact that it was kind of difficult, I really didn't plan this out well. I, as I believe I've said before, I completely underestimated the expedition in this game. It took much, much longer to get through. I mean, I was expecting it to only go, like, maybe a little over, like, just short of 30 videos, and here I am at, like, 50 plus. So, <laughs> dang. Uh, so, yeah. It's, and being a visual novel, it wasn't exactly great content either, either for the viewer or the player, me, because I was struggling to find things to say in case you couldn't figure that out. You know, throughout the whole game, and, well, it really is just more fun to play than it is to watch someone else play, so... I don't know, if if I ever do a visual novel again, it's gonna be a while. <laughs> so... Until then, though, we're not quite through with this ending. There's still some more things that we've got to uh, cover here. Remembering, of course, at the bottom screen is what June is, you know, remembering, experiencing, what have you, nine years ago. I like this little piano song here. Oh, whoa! <laughs> what happened to you? <laughs> Five eighth graders. <laughs> oh. Oh, so this is Nevada. An SUV? Where did we get an SUV? Oh. Oh, with the keys and the ignition and everything. All right. Oh, so they even left us a way to get out of here, even though we have no idea where we're going. <laughs> God, I mean, they're all from Japan, so <laughs> it's like, where are they supposed to go? <laughs> they're illegal immigrants in this case. They're all squeezed in the back seat. Oh, wow, that's got to be uncomfortable. Especially with someone big like Seven back there. And we let her drive. Yeah. Whose bright idea was it to let Clover drive? And there's no speed limit! <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, I think Junpei's sitting in between them, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Suck it up! <laughs> Why don't you drive, Seven? Oh. Are you gonna break the law? Oh, yeah, because he doesn't have a American driving license. Or international license. Yeah, you could have sat in the passenger seat. Why? Why are you enjoying this so much, Lotus? Oh, they're in a car too? Oh, tire tracks. Oh right, we're tracking the- oh, so that's what we're doing. That's where we're going. We're following June and, and Santa. Yep. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Oh crap! <laughs> yeah, why did we let her drive instead of like Lotus? before too yeah possibly huh yeah the bunnies poor bunnies who'd have thought that was related to this in any way I mean kind of wasn't but <laughs> you know they got we got this whole little story here so I mean it didn't have any relation to the nonary game really that. Yeah. Like Ace. Yeah, I can tell her Hungao. Hunga Hungao. Hung yeah, whatever. Didn't we kind of explain that already? Prospect knows ya. Yeah, why don't we ask him yourself? He's still in the trunk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we basically, yeah, found him tied up in the trunk. <laughs> With his mouth taped shut. <laughs> oh, I love it. Apparently it's really easy to reach back there, too, so... <laughs> yeah, what if he even cares that he's going at 120 miles down, uh, down the desert? <laughs> Gotta tr try to pretend you weren't, you old bastard. Ow. And he's got a. He does have a beard, right? Yeah, so that one is must. That. Well, it's not like a. Like, mustache beard or anything, so maybe it wasn't quite that painful. That's your only reason, really? Still a jerk. You you involved kids, dude. <laughs> Time for the tape to go back on. Somebody's a little nut. Well, you were you asked. What? The whole Alice thing. Yeah, what is the deal with that? Yeah. 
Yeah, what about that? What? Why do you want to speak on this? You gotta behave. That tape can't possibly be sticky anymore, can it? What? Oh. But the root of that peculiar plant... Yeah, which was the Mandragora. The only one of its kind, I think. And that's who he made the Super Rail Beta. Yeah, remember... Well, actually, I guess you... I didn't actually show that necessarily, but there was way long ago... Uh, in back in room four, whenever we talked to Santa, and one of the one of the things you could ask him was, you know, or he asked like, you know, do you play? And then you can say, what the stock market? And he says, well, yeah, I do, I guess, but that wasn't what I was talking about. And that's actually important because uh, the way June saw into the future, she saw that you know, Cradle Pharmaceutical was going to become this incredibly wealthy company after, you know, finding this, which happened after the Nanari game, by the way. I mean, that's when they, like, uh, you know, invented the Super Real Beta and all. And, you know, they become absurdly wealthy through it, so they invested in their stocks and ended up getting, you know, filthy rich off of it. And that's how they were able to afford the Nanari game. You know, the second time and all, so... Yeah, we'll just... Well, you weren't exactly enjoying the ride, but... Huh? For you, doll. <laughs> His name is also Junpei. Junpei made that? <laughs> it's a for you doll? <laughs> oh, I see. He didn't make it. He bought it. Okay. It's not a voodoo doll. <laughs> That'd be kind of weird. <laughs> it sure looks like a voodoo doll. <laughs> Maybe, well, it doesn't have a personal possession, so it's not gonna work. I mean, it doesn't have like a lock of his hair or, or a piece of clothing from him or something, so. Uh, it is Junpei giving it to June, right? Oh, yeah, it is, okay. Yeah, and they went to different schools after that, and they didn't see each other again until the nunnery game. How about we call it June? Huh. Was that in your repressed memories, Junpei? Or were you actually trying to make that reference back when you called her June? Tribal Chief in a bad movie. <laughs> I, head of tribe, this tall, traditional charm of tribe. <laughs> I like that. It me. <laughs> oh, wow. You don't have to keep sounding all stereotypically tribal there, but... Hmm. <laughs> oh, wow. No kidding! 
It's like, I promise to involve you in dangerous stuff later in your life, even though it actually wasn't dangerous because your life was never in danger. But... <laughs> I mean, he did get killed four times, so... <laughs> oh, no, actually three times. Excuse me, he didn't actually die at the end of the safe ending. one another, but we'll take their word for it. That sounds like a really cool scene. Or rather, a really cool thing to see. One more thing, though. Sense. He's blind. <laughs> uh huh. Historical discrepancy? A paradox, as it were? Maybe that's not it at all. There is one other logical explanation. Yeah, was that the truth? You look satisfied. Yeah, it's never spelled out directly, but it's implied as a possibility that both Seven and uh, Snake were in on this from the beginning. Huh? There is? What? Who the... What? Alice? Is it? Uh, it can't be. And that's all there is to it. And according to the creator of, ga of the game, that actually is not Alice, or at least the one from, you know, all that. So... Well, I don't know what else to say, really. I mean, if you have any other questions, I guess I could answer them in a bonus what? video or whatnot, but, uh... Oh, yes, I would like to save. Because someone asked me if I would show off all those, uh, symbols up there, so now... You can see we got the true or June ending, as some people call it, the coffin ending, and hang on, let me go back to that. Yeah, the X ending, the safe ending, the knife ending, and the submarine ending. So, yeah, you can start again from the prologue and, you know, all that and try again, I guess, if you want and what have you. So, uh, yes, that, my friends, is the end of nine hours, nine persons, nine doors. I know it was quite an endeavor there. I guess it actually wasn't as long as I thought. I thought that would take much longer. Wow, it's only been just under 50 minutes. Well. Okay then, I, uh... Anyway, uh, I've already started my other LP, so... <laughs> yeah, next time's already happened. But, uh... If I do do another visual novel game, which again, I don't know if I, uh, how, if I ever will, but if I do, you know... Maybe you want to. You were kind of wondering whatever did happen to you know Santa and June. So who knows? Someday perhaps. Maybe we'll find out in the sequel. <laughs>